basic sorgonomics, and it's time for you to make your own job, make your own living. It's the idea that's in my head today. It's something that uh, came up in conversations as I've uh, uh, um, been dragged, kicking and screaming over to East Liberty at least once, maybe twice a week lately. Loving Zeke's coffee over there. And uh, one of the conversations we were talking about, uh, I found somebody else who digs on some Gary Vaynerchuk stuff. Very motivational for me. Some good ideas, I feel. Uh, but I find a lot of people think he's a pretentious dick. Uh, I disagree. I, I think I think you have to be to be successful. No, you don't have to be. I hope I disprove that. But you, so, I think I think if you're successful, somebody probably thinks you're a dick. Yeah, it seems about right. But that's not the point of this show. But sharing some ideas and sharing some motivations about what we're working on. Uh, a couple of guys got a really cool idea going on in East Liberty. And uh, I'm, I'm hoping to talk, talk to you guys about it until you're sick of it here in May. Because I really love the idea. Uh, and I really hope that they, they pull it off. And, and we have a, lot, a really cool success story that we can talk about, about then. Um, but the idea that came up is, is, is making your own job. There was a, 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 a I think it's probably on Mac break. Uh, I probably talked about this in the course of the show, but again, who knows? I don't know how long you guys have been sticking around, but I think it's worth reiterating. Uh, and why one of the reasons why I do this kind of stuff and one of the reasons why I try to tell other people to do this kind of stuff, because, uh, geez, uh, today I was listening to triangulation, triangulation and people were talking about, um, how we're going to be getting new jobs. Um, I think the book is Netizen. Um, he's a guy that's worked under the. Um, he's a guy that's worked under the uh, the the the, I think the, not the Clinton administration. Um, he's worked at the White House talking about security, cybersecurity, and talking about technologies and how we deal with them. And one of the things that's changing is the job market. So many jobs are being really replaced. You know, uh, the robots took my jobs from 20 years ago, 30 years ago. Well, it's going to be computers and it's going to be um, mass data is going to replace these things. They were talking about blockchain. That's going to uh, maybe make needing a lawyer cheaper because a computer can get all that stuff done for you that the lawyer may have to do. Um, that's far more complicated, and I don't entirely understand how that works, but that's why there's people much smarter than me working on those kinds of solutions. Um, so from there, uh, I the idea is you know, way back... MacBreak Weekly, probably 2009. We all got screwed uh, by the, the the collapse that happened, by the um, by the the recession that happened. I feel so weird calling it a recession because um, I don't understand what that is. And I felt like I grew up through the 90s saying recession, recession, recession on the news every day. I don't watch the news anymore because stuff like that. And I'm far too annoyed whenever I do just with the commercials. Um, sorry, friends that work in the news. Um, but the one comment that resonated with me, you know, again, seeing everything that was happening around me was you have to make your own job. Alex Lindsay, Mac break weekly. Uh, I believe maybe it's Twitter it's Friday this week in tech. Now I think about it. Uh, but that hit me because you can't just depend on the job and somebody taking care of you. Um, I was somebody that had been looking for a job for a while just to move on, just to move on to something else and hopefully something a little bigger. And, um, and, and, and I just couldn't find my way out. And that's when a lot of stuff changed. And I started looking for my own way out. The thing I've been doing like this with the, with the podcasting, some video production, taking that and doing it for other people. You know, my, my first gigs were, were doing, uh, you know, taking flip cam video, editing those for for an environmental lobbying company, uh, not company, organization, nonprofit, environment. It's good stuff. Um, helping them put together a small documentary around their stuff. I forgot I freaking did that until somebody brought it up to me when I, uh, at her next job uh, 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 since, you know. I mean, that kind of thing. And and that's that's that was kind of the first inkling of, mm, we're moving on from here. And, uh, and, and and you move on to your thing. I have friends that are in a similar position where they say, this thing I'm doing, this thing I've been doing for 10 years, I can't do it anymore. I need to do something else. Like, I, I, and, and, and something will happen. And I say, 
uh, I, I, okay, that's it. I got to look for the new job. I was like, mm, well, then you're going to be at another place that's going to have a similar situation that you're not going to like versus, and again, not to say this is the end all be all for every person that can do this, but you start creating your own job. You know, what is that thing that you're interested in? Um, Nerdist, um, Chris Hardwick, the Nerdist, Mr. Nerdist himself, has a book, The Nerdist Way. And in it, there he has his, um, I guess you can call it a formula for finding that thing. How do I describe it? Find, finding that thing, finding that making your own job thing, finding that passion you can pursue and make some sort of career or living at it, perhaps. Hopefully, soon, one day. Our friend uh, Cash Shake, even though some people don't like the way he says things over there on his blog at besomebody.com. Com. Co. I'm trying to remember. Be somebody. Hashtag be somebody. Talked to them on Awesome Chat a while ago, sometime last year, probably midsummer. And uh, you know, talking about following that passion. You know, if you dig skydiving, you can probably go make money teaching people how to skydive, right? Um, whatever that thing is, you like crochet, crocheting. That can lead to you selling crocheting or teaching other people how to crochet. You know, that's making your own job. Make it work. And going back to Nerdist, he has a he has a formula for it. You know, you list what are the things you like to do. Do you think you'd like to do this on a regular basis? Do you think you'd like to get paid for this? How can you get paid to do this? So that's what it comes down to. Another friend of mine says that uh, uh, you can't pay the electric bill on good intentions. I've tried. It's been rejected. It's bound. My my intention check has been bounced with the electric company. Um, and uh, and and you have to you have to solve that equation for yourself. I just pissed off all you people who hate math, but it, it really is, you know. Um, it's like an equation of of uh, A is my skills, uh, B is my passion, uh, project, item, hobby, whatever. Uh, equals uh, uh, the dollar sign that you can pay your bills with in your mortgage. Really, in the long run. So I think, uh, I, I don't know, you know, maybe this is something uh, that's that's kind of like, you know, fine for Sorg, fine for these guys, fine for these other guys that have written books about this, that, that inspired me to do stuff. I'm still figuring it out, you know, this isn't, I'm not, I'm not at the end of the road in figuring out the job that I'm going to create for myself. Maybe I created too many jobs for myself. <laughs> we'll have a podcast on that when that, that is determined, for instance. Um, but look at, I'm in this job. I can't find the way out. I can't find the next job. Then you gotta get creative, and I think that's uh, sometimes for some people the only way out. I mean, what do you think? Have you created your own job? Are you just looking for the next job? Was a possibility? And granted, I don't mean to say it as if it's the easiest thing in the world. I, this is with a lot of things. A lot of things we say on here. A lot of things we say on some of the other podcasts. Um, we don't say it, say, this is an easy thing. Why the hell haven't you done this yet? Um, we say it, we repeat it, and that's when it clicks. I had to hear a lot of things a lot of times before it clicked with me. There's a lot of things I still need to learn that I'm still hearing in repetition before it clicks and I do the right thing and we move things to the next level. What are you going to create today? Let me know. At Solgatron on the Twitter, sign up for the newsletter. There are special things on there. <laughs> we write a thing. Um, uh, Missy actually contributed this week to the newsletter that we had out this past Monday. I hope to have some other people. I actually had somebody offer to write for it recently, and I, I'm very excited to see where that's going to go as well. Thank you so much. We'll see you next time. This show is a member of the Sorgatron Media Podcast Network. Find out more at sorgatronmedia.com.